this video, I thought I'd share with you a typical weekend in the garden. Because the soil is the foundation of a healthy, productive vegetable garden, I'll start with what I did this weekend to improve the soil. Like last weekend, I started this weekend off with the chop and drop. Unlike last weekend, however, we didn't have a lot of dynamic accumulators like comfrey and lamb's quarters to chop and drop. But we did have a lot of saplings all over the yard. I'm guessing that our use of leaves and wood chips as mulch brings a lot of tree seeds into the yard, and that's why we have so many saplings coming up. Because I don't want them coming back, I go ahead and uproot the saplings rather than chop them and leave their roots in the soil. So I collect the saplings in a bucket, I chop them up a bit, and I add them as mulch to the garden beds. Another thing I did this weekend to improve the soil was to brew a batch of compost tea and apply it to the garden. I applied it both as a foliar spray and as a soil drench. On Saturday, I asked two local Starbucks to save their used coffee grounds for the day. And that evening, I went by and picked them up. The first Starbucks really delivered with approximately 40 pounds of coffee grounds. Then I headed over to the second Starbucks. Both Starbucks are within minutes from my house. At the second store, I got a bag of approximately 10 pounds of coffee grounds. Used coffee grounds make a great free soil amendment. Their pH is very close to neutral, ranging from 6.5 to 6.8, and they contain nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, and other trace minerals. My last haul of coffee grounds went into the compost bins. This haul is going directly onto the garden beds as mulch. I lightly sprinkled the coffee grounds around the garden beds. I avoid creating a thick layer of coffee grounds, which could potentially form a crusty layer, which you don't want. After laying out the coffee grounds, I once again put my Vitamix to work, blending up all the eggshells that I've saved for the week and some water. The eggshells will microwave first to kill all the bacteria. Eggshells also make a great free soil amendment. They contain calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium. I simply pour the pitcher of water and eggshells onto the garden. The eggshells are blended so fine that hopefully the minerals in them will be available to the plants fairly soon. In addition to applying these soil amendments directly to the soil, I'm thinking ahead and making compost and vermicompost to enhance the soil in the future. This weekend I fed my worms a puree of watermelon rinds, kale stems, and banana peels. And I top this off with shredded paper from a phone book. This weekend I also added yard waste to the outdoor compost bins. I also checked in on a compost bin featured in a previous video that contains wood chips, coffee grounds, and yard waste. As you can see, naturally occurring fungi are very busy at work breaking down the wood chips in this bin. And of course, all this work wouldn't make a whole lot of sense without the harvest. This weekend's harvest included blackberries, cherry tomatoes, potatoes, kale, amaranth leaves, and a variety of greens and herbs. And when all the work was done, I took time to relax and enjoy the garden. Well, that's all I have for now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.